Hello, this is Jesse with Knowles Mine Co. Today we're out where we've had a little bit of flooding going on around us out here. And we're going to see, there's lots of black sands in this wash out here. So we're going to see if we can maybe dig around some of these rocks out here and see what we can find. And we'll take it back home with us in a bucket and pan it down or sluice it. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so this area has been test mined before. I'm not sure what they're mining. But if you look up on the hill up there at that white, that white up there, there's a little road up through there and they cut it in. And they started pulling chunks of that mountain out, stripping it. So I'm not really 100% sure what they were looking for. But if you come right over here and down into the wash, this stuff right here, there's quite a bit of little pieces of quartz in here. And this wash is just clear full of black sand, so... We'll probably head down this washaways and we'll go dig. There's a little spot where it washed the road out and dropped on the other side. And it looks pretty good over there. We will dig in the bank a little where there's some rock layers and we'll show that and then we'll take some materials with us home. Okay, so right here in the wash, got this layer right here. All this layer, it's really super hard layer, so everything that's soft is pretty much washed off the top so i think i want to dig back into this bank a little ways right here maybe above this hard layer and maybe try to chip into the hard layer a little bit here and try to get some of that material too just see if there's any gold in it <laughs> because that would be like a false bedrock basically because you can't really get through this it's like a rock it's glue it's like almost like concreted together with these rocks and you can break it if you push on it hard but it's pretty solid, so we'll dig in that a little bit and see what we can find. All right, so we're down on that bedrock, that false bedrock. I'm going to try to get a little bit of this, put it into my bucket. All right, I'm not able to get much deeper into that, but I don't know. It's kind of looking like it's got some dark color to it. Like it probably has quite a bit of black sands in it. So we'll just have to see what we get out of this once we get home. There's a little ditch that runs off this hill right here. You can see it right over here. It comes down. It has a drop in it right there. I pulled a rock out of that drop and dug under it. And there's a ton of black sand. So we bucketed that up. Came down here. There's another drop right here. I moved this rock out of the vet and dug underneath that rock where it was sitting. So right here I dug down. There's tons of black sand and little pieces of quartz right there. But I think the black sand got trapped there probably from this last flood that we had. Because this whole ditch we're in right here, this whole wash, it's just, it's been flooded pretty good the last little while. So hopefully we can find something good in here. All right, so it's getting kind of windy out here. So I think we're going to go ahead and probably pick up a few pieces of trash because I don't like seeing trash everywhere and everywhere you go there's trash and I just don't like coming out to prospect and or even just bring my family out and have garbage everywhere. So we're me and my daughter, she's with me, me and her are going to pick up a bunch of trash and take it with us off the hill here and get rid of it. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get back to my shop. Hello everybody, welcome to Knowles Mine Co. Today we're going to finish panning down this material that I got the other day. I kind of had a mishap with my phone and crushed it, so now we're ready. I got a new phone and we'll try it out and see how good it does video-wise. But anyway, I got, I got me another piece of mail from Pirate Stacker. It's pretty cool. It says, Yo, Knowles Mine Co. Congrats on the 100 subscribers. You'll be at 200 in no time. I sent some of my new loot, our pirate stacker. So, you see that? Those are pretty cool new stickers. I like these. So, that's what this new stickers that he sent me. He sent me three of those. So, I better add one of those to my board, too. Yeah, they're pretty good quality, even, and everything. So, that's pretty cool. There it is. All right. So if any of you guys want to have a sticker on my board or something, send me one if you want. Just message me and I'll 
give you an address to send it to. I'll get you put up there and I'll do a shout out for you as well. So, well, we'll get to it now. We'll get this material. I got it all screened already off camera because I don't want to waste time doing that, but we'll get it. Now that we're done with that, I'll start panning it down. Then I separated all the clay out from the dirt. I'm going to aim that down here a little bit. So I separated out my dirt, you know, it's all, it's pretty small now, but I got this clay, this clay came right off the bedrock layer, it's a really weird clay, it's almost like pottery clay, so we're going to do, pan down this sandy dirt material that's off that little false bed, and then we'll do this clay separate and kind of bust it up and see if we can get any gold out of it. Gosh, it was kind of a little wet, so... Make sure it's all good and we'll start panning it down see if I can find anything in this mess. Bunch of weird little black rocks in this stuff. I don't know what that is. It might be lava rock or something, but I'm not sure. How'd that make it through my screen? awful lot of black sands in here you can see it right here starting to show up in this corner here I need to find my magnet probably. There's quite a bit of black sand in there. Look at all that black sand that's in this that couple, like two handfuls of dirt. Okay. 
Try that clay real quick, some of that. This clay's some nasty stuff. Look at this stuff. Sit down over here for a second so I can kind of mash it up a little. And cut it in the crap. Alright, so I got that all worked down into just a. We fill little rocks and stuff in the bottom and got all the clay broke up. This is going to make my water super nastier, so we'll be changing that after this video, I'm sure. Clay has lots of little chunks of black in it. I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of a little weird. It's all separated good at least. Clay's the hardest thing to pan, I think. This is what I have. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> some black granulated stuff in there some black sand and some little rocks too that are in the clay it's kind of a little weird There's one super small chunk of gold in there. If I can get my snuffer bottle off the floor down here, I'll show you where it is. There she go. There's one super small speck right in front of my snuffer right there. If you can see if I get the light on it, maybe. Yep, it's right there. Scoop it up. Let's see if there's any more. Scoop that piece out. There's a lot of fine gold in here. I just can't get any of it out. It's mixed in with all this black. I'm going to have to get some other way to extract all that if I'm going to play around over there anymore. But it was fun, I guess, for a minute. Try to get rid of all the rest of this dirt out of this crap. If I can hand wash it away, maybe. Probably lose a little bit, maybe, too, if I'm not careful. Oh man, there's tons of fine gold in there. If I look real close underneath this bright light that I have above me right here, I can see it. Really, if I get my head right in the pan, I can see it. But other than that, I don't think I'll be able to get it out. It's too small. I don't know. Anybody have any good ideas of ways to get out the fine, super fine gold? Besides a gold cube, I'm open to ideas. I want to buy some more equipment or... Borrow some from somebody that I know or something, but I want to try to get some of this fine out just so I can see what all's in it. But that pretty much sums that up. There's nothing there really that I can get out. <clears throat> I like all these 
black sands. I can try to wash some of the dirt off the top of that, I guess. We have it all in here together now. That's a ton of black sand out of that. So we'll hang on to that. And we'll do something with that another day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. So I pan that out. There's some really super fine flower gold in that. There's nothing I can do to even get any of it out. Or I would. I'm waiting on some money so I can buy me a gold cube or, I don't know, possibly something else. Whatever I can find that's good for extracting fine gold. My wife's uncle has a... He has a shaker table and a crusher. I may go over there. We may make a video over there one of these days and try that out and see if that'll separate. If that'll separate maybe that flower gold from that black sands, at least some of it, just to try it. We'll do an experiment and see. So that's about wraps up for this video. But I guess I need to give a shout out to Pirate Stacker. He keeps sending me some sick stickers. Like this new sticker is pretty sick. And I've got some other ones, but I only have one of the other ones, so they're not up here. So I want to put them on something else, probably once I get my little office area done. And that'll be a good idea. And Johnny B, I'll be sending out your stuff tomorrow. And also, I've got a little bag of pay dirt and some other stuff to send out to Pirate Stacker, too, as well. So if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please go ahead and do that now and help me grow this channel so that we can continue to do these awesome things. And we might be able to add some even better stuff once we start getting a little bigger. We'll go on some road trips and things farther from home. So, till next time, have a good night, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.